First tonight in the middle of summer when everyone is wearing shorts and tank tops and thinking about hitting the beach. Marilyn Robertson is thinking about sweaters. More specifically, turning old sweaters into new winter wear. Robertson's season lasts all year long at Jack and Mary Designs, where she creates patterns for scarves, hats, and mittens, with a focus on preserving the memory of lost loved ones. We stopped by her shop to learn more about her memory mittens. With a fan blowing the warm summer air away, these ladies are hard at work sewing. We have four sewers right now. Some people, you know, make 100 things a week. Some of them make less than that. Marilyn Robertson is the founder of Jack and Mary Designs. Here, she sorts through all of her orders. Some of it's customers just asking for different things, and then, you know, I try to come up with a pattern and... Orders to turn something old into something new. It started out when a friend of mine handed me the, her mom's sweaters. Her sister had been an Olympia, a, a ski racer in the Olympics, and the mom used to wear these sweaters, these Nordic sweaters, to her, the sister's ski races. And she was like, can you do something with these? She cut the sweaters into a pattern and sewed together a pair of mittens. I have kids who ski race, so I knew what it was like to stand on the side of a mountain freezing. And I was like, here are these beautiful wool sweaters. And they didn't want to wear the sweaters, so I was thinking, you know, what could be better than a pair of really cozy warm mittens? Memory mittens. Customers can reach out for more information, which she sends to them in a box. And then inside the box is a little rack card that just explains um, you know, the process and what they need to do. And then they fill out um, this memory mitten form and it's just asking for details about, you know, what do they want to have made? What sizes? Do they, are they okay if we use some of our own materials? Do they want the materials returned? And then they send that back to us in this bag. Almost always, Robertson will call the customer directly and have a more in-depth conversation about who the sweater or sometimes pajamas or an old shirt belonged to. When um, people started sending us sweaters, they started sending these beautiful notes. And sometimes they were, it was heartbreaking, you know, about a child passing away. A, l a lot of it has to do with around a loss. Robertson wasn't expecting just how much this aspect of her business would grow. She also wasn't expecting the thank you notes. For the wholesale part of my business, you know, we rarely get thank you notes. You really get acknowledged, which is fine. You know, and that's kind of what I expected. So when we started the memory mittens and people were sending us these, you know, wonderful notes, sending us the sweaters and telling us the story, it, it also made me realize when I'm working with this, um, you know, just how, what a special garment this was, you know, and what it meant to someone. Which can often add to the pressure of getting it right. That this was someone's sweater and I have one chance. A big piece of Robertson's business is wholesale. She buys sweaters in bulk and turns them into headbands and scarves, even bun warmers to wear over leggings in the winter, selling them in stores all over the country. But by far, her most meaningful venture has been the memory mittens, which were even mittens. featured on the Today From Show's Jackson holiday Jackson. gift Basically, guide. You can send in an old sweater. It could be somebody, a relative who's maybe ah. passed away. It could be maybe your baby's grown yeah. up and you want to save it. They make mittens. No, that's it's the genius. Greatest small family owned genius. business in Maine. An unexpected boost in business right before Christmas that kept Robertson and her workers very busy. Well, so many orders yeah. came in. I called them all up and I was like, okay, it's crunch time. Can you help me? And they were all so wonderful. And I think everyone was sewing around the clock. I even got back on the machine. Even now during this time of year, it's amazing how many people keep sending us their sweaters and asking us, you know, to make products. An idea that sparked from a friend's loss and the need to preserve something once so meaningful. An idea for mittens that continues to spread no matter the weather. So if you are interested in learning more, we have posted a link to Jack and Mary Designs in the 207 section of our websites. They are so beautiful.